Let's follow up now with ABC's Chief White House Correspondent John Carl, who's traveling with the President. John, pretty awkward timing with that leak. How embarrassed is the White House and did the President feel the need to apologize to President Putin during their meeting today? Well, George, the leak sure seemed timed to give maximum embarrassment, trying to add tension to what was already going to be a tense meeting with Vladimir Putin. But the White House says that it didn't even come up when the two men met. The bottom line for senior administration officials is the Russians and the Americans have been spying on each other for a long time. It should be no surprise that that spying still goes on on both sides. And of course, the main subject today, Syria, the U.S. moving to arm the rebels right now, of course, Russia on the other side, was there any common ground? Uh, there was no real sign of progress at all. They two, the two came out of their meeting, both saying that they wanted a political solution, but the bottom line remained the same. Even after meeting for two hours, uh, it was clear that Vladimir Putin and the Russians will continue to send arms to Syrian President Assad, while President Obama and the Americans are now starting to send arms to the rebels trying to overthrow Assad. And, and John, on a much lighter note, the president's whole family on the trip. What did the first lady and the girls do today? Well, they ventured into the heart of Ireland in search of their Irish roots. They went to Dublin, where they went to Trinity College Library and were shown records, birth records, from President Obama's great, great, great grandfather, uh, who is from Monegal, Ireland. They also, George, met with their distant cousin here, uh, Henry Healy, and were given a certificate of Irish ancestry, <laughs> which they will take back to America to prove. In fact, the Obamas do have Irish roots. A little family history for Sasha Malia. Okay, John, thanks very much.